Welcome to our estate sale preview this week. This week we are in Edmond, Oklahoma, right off of 2nd Street. And I'm going to take you on a short tour of the sale that we're doing. We're going to start off in the office. There's lots and lots of collectibles. We have lots of Native American items. There are several Kachina dolls. We also have some Austin sculptures. We have the Degrazi uh, Gobel figurines. Also just lots of little pottery, lots of really kind of fun, interesting pieces. There is probably 50 different limited edition prints. Most of them are framed, some of them aren't. We also have lots of Native American dolls and like a quiver, some medicine staffs. Uh, we have um, these baskets. We have a papoose, a headdress, and lots of lots and lots of uh, Native American decor. So if you're decorating in that, there's a lot of a lot of fun stuff that we don't normally get. We also have this desk, and as you can see, we also have a pair of wingback chairs and with a couple of bookcases. Over here, we've got a pair of curio cabinet, or we have a curio cabinet, and inside of it, we have little Cupid dolls and some more global figurines. Um, kind of pop through the kitchen, has normal kitchen wares, and the dining room set is a really large dining room set. We have a dessert server, a buffet, a table, and six chairs, plus a pair of curio cabinets that we're all selling. Plus we also have lots of crystal. We have this Fossori American square cake plate on the pedestal. Lots of ruby red. This is only half the ruby red. The other half's on another table. Uh, several pieces of carnival glass and lots of uh, cut crystal. Okay. Uh, we have a dryer and then lots of little vintage, lots and lots of little vintage items. We've got a sewing machine, we have a serger, we've got uh, lots of little just antique kind of farm type stuff like old irons and advertising items. On the big square table over here, we've got We've got, in total, probably over a hundred different dolls. There's probably 30 or 40 Madame Alexander dolls and then lots of other miscellaneous dolls. Most of the Madame Alexander still have the boxes. We also have lots of composition dolls and some older porcelain dolls. We've got a console stereo and, you know, some more, like I said, Indian uh, limited edition prints. Uh, lots of people from like Doc Tate Navaquoia, uh, Kelly Haney, uh, Robert Redbird, I mean lots of the big names. We have tons and tons of records. Lots of Elvis records. And then over here we actually have some 80's G.I. Joe uh, play or toys, you know the action figure play sets that are kinda cool, uh, kinda fun and collectible. Okay. Over here, you know, obviously more dolls. Then we have this really cool, fun, modern, it's a Lucite square coffee table. And it is just a lot of fun. We have a AC Blue Eagle dinner plate. You know, normally find the regular glasses. We don't normally find the dinner plates. And another shot of the Madame Alexander dolls. Pretty much wide spectrum of what we've got. And more colored glassware, clear glassware, and a lot more ruby red. Over here on this wall we have a small cabinet with a set of china on it. We also have this other cabinet with glass that lights up. Uh, so if you have a little collections, you know, this will be great if you're collecting stuff. Uh, some more Indian uh, decor, lots of milk glass, uh, more Indian prints. Over on these tables, we have tons of collector's plates. We have the Oklahoma Musical collector's plates, plus lots of uh, Native American collector's plates. Some various, we have some black Americana figurines, or quite a few figurines. Some of the stuff is older, like the Mammy uh, um, salt and pepper shaker. We have a little toy jukebox and a Thorin's uh, disc music box. Then over here on the fireplace mantel, here's the headdress, and we have a Yadro sculpture, and some other kind of fun little knickknacks. In the first bedroom, I'm going to show some of the artwork down the hall. Like I said, there's 35 to 40 prints, and like I said, most of them were framed. 
um, in the closet. Tons of DVDs, VHS tapes, books, CDs. I mean, it's kind of crazy how much stuff we've got. We have this huge box. It is absolutely full of Barbie dolls. There's over 100 Barbie dolls. Uh, more artwork. Over here we have some newer and older dolls. We have some Horseman dolls. We have a Brooke Shields doll still in the package. Some Barbie still in the package. Mulan, uh, Mulan uh, action figures. A lot more dolls. A lot more Madame Alexander dolls. Plus we're also selling this bedroom set. So there's a chest, a dresser, a bed, and a nightstand. And some Barbie, lots of Barbie outfits. Some more, an Urkel doll. Everybody needs an Urkel doll and more Native American art. In the next room, we have an entire room full of costume jewelry. And unfortunately, this room's kind of dim right now. We don't have the lights in yet. But as you can see, lots of nice rhinestone pieces, lots of stuff that's signed. I mean, rhinestone, ruby, sapphire, I mean, all different colors. She loved um, costume jewelry. And there's a lot of really pretty, really fun stuff. Several hundred pairs of earrings. We've gone through over 300 earring, uh, you know, little clipper boards. So we know there's at least 300 pairs of earrings. And like I said, some of this stuff is signed. And what you're seeing is not even all out yet. We still have a lot more. We couldn't even get on the tables room to bring in more tables. So there's a lot of, a lot of costume jewelry. Then there's also these little honorary uh, Western figurines. Uh, these are all hand carved, as you know. I think that most of them are Native American, and then I think there's uh, Wyatt Earp, uh, Custer, and uh, Billy the Kid, or Buffalo Bill uh, wood carvings also. Then these watches. And then this is the, the holiday closet. So we have all the Christmas, which is some nice Christmas, and some Halloween kind of tucked away. And lots of fur coats. This is not Dalmatian, so do not worry. It is not a Dalmatian coat, but it is actually really kind of fun. If you're going to do a Corolla DeVille outfit for Halloween, that's the coat to do it with. And in the master bedroom, we have a king-size uh, black lacquer bedroom set. And king-size bed, platform bed, has a side cabinet. There's also corner cabinets in another room. Plus, we also have um, this big chest of drawers and another side piece it's actually so big it will not even fit in this room there's so many pieces to it uh kind of over here we've got some die cast model cars still in the still in the wrappers or still in the boxes a lot more dolls uh there are insane amounts of dolls more native american art uh up here we have our elvis collection of little uh elvis fun things including the pink cadillac we have a Marilyn Monroe doll. And now we're going to pop into the uh, bathroom. We have a whole bathtub full of stuffed animals just waiting to be adopted by your kids. And we've got some more stuff. Tons and tons and tons of cosmetics. Um, we've got more fun vintage knickknacks. Uh, some collector's tins in the closet. As you can see, she has some really fun uh, jackets. There's lots of Native American jackets, lots of faux fur and real fur jackets. Really kind of fun, wild and crazy belts and boots. I mean, it's actually, it's not your, I would say it's not, it's not your typical grandma cell. This is actually some kind of fun things to get. More furs, a lot more pottery. And boots and hats. And then last, I'm going to take you out into the backyard after we see this little brown mink that I didn't even see. There's so many furs. And out in the backyard, there is no garage on the cell, so everything's in the house. We have some storage tubs, this dolly, we have a little bitty grill and some metal chairs. We have a gas edger, a ladder, kind of out in... Before the sun goes down, you can see the little bird bath and some yard pieces and this little portable bar that would be great for entertaining. It's small size, so you can actually use it if you have a small place. 
and that pretty much wraps up our our short tour like i said there's a lot of stuff that's really hard to see you couldn't you couldn't make a tour of everything in this house that would take several hours but uh anyway we'd certainly love to see you this weekend so if you get a chance come on out bye bye